Disney artist and historian Stacia Martin, and I'm thrilled to be here celebrating the golden anniversary of Walt Disney World. And I thought we'd better invite a few of our classic Disney characters to join the celebrating, especially this one, because if this character doesn't get invited to the party, oh my goodness, the feathers fly. So I bet you figured out who it's going to be already. And that, of course, is Donald Duck. He's had more quack attacks on screen than I even care to admit. But you know, he's a really a lovely guy when you get down to it. He just is very easily frustrated. And when people ask me through all my years of drawing what my favorite characters are to draw, I really have to defer to Donald and the adult ducks because they represent what Walt Disney liked to call the plausible impossible in the very best possible way. And now what I mean by that is that plausibility means that you'll believe something and impossible means it really shouldn't happen. So in the world of Disney animation, the ducks really embody a believable reality that really shouldn't be able to happen. For example, if you see Donald in a cartoon and he's walking down the street and he's got flowers in one hand and a box of chocolates under the other arm and he's whistling a tune as he's on his way to Daisy Duck's house, you don't think twice about that. That's like, okay, let's wait for something to happen. You don't realize that it's already happening. How many ducks do you know in nature that can pucker their beaks and whistle? That is plausible impossibility at its finest. And as a cartoonist, we love being able to take things from the real world and kind of stand them on their head, but have the audience nod and go, yes, well, of course this makes sense. And I'm having fun the whole way through with you. So here's to Donald and his plausible impossibility. And here's to 50 years of Walt Disney World, which is an amazing thing to contemplate. This is really a dream come true for me to be part of this because I've grown up being a, not just a student of the art of Walt Disney, but also a huge admirer of the fantasy, the joy, and the incredible opportunities for art and expansion and music, culture growing and growing that Walt Disney and his original artists began and that all of us who helped perpetuate that can bring forward to everyone the world over. So happy birthday, Walt Disney World, and thank you, Donald, for several glowing, gorgeous performances on screen, even the quack attacks.